So it's super early in the morning right now. We got Ike and Gertie out. And we also have the babies slowly waking up, but the sun is just now coming up. So we're gonna go around and check on all the tortoises and do the morning walkthrough. Hey buddy. Eating some radishes. We got the rescue tortoises inside of here. There's about six of them. We got one of them inside of there. Looks like we don't have any more. Hey buddy, he's slowly waking up. But they got their pond that fills up automatically. Hey buddy. We also got one right here. But these are their burrows that we've made for them. Got one little guy down there. We got two of them in there. We'll let these guys slowly wake up though. We got the shed where I keep all my supplies. It looks like we got Linus inside of here. Hey Linus, what are you doing buddy? And then the yearlings are inside of this enclosure. And then the hatchlings are usually inside of here, but they're under the shade right now because it does get pretty hot during the day. And whenever they are inside of here, I have them covered up with a safe top. But we went ahead and picked some weeds yesterday for them. We got a few babies over there. We got the rest of them slowly waking up. Hey guys. Hey Gertie. Hey pretty girl. You don't want to eat my fingers, do you? All right, so these guys are good. Now let's go check on the other tortoises and we may even find some babies. Yesterday, I found one baby right here. You got to watch where you step. We got Francie right here. Hey, Francie. We got Rhino under there as well. They actually made a burrow that goes under the tortoise house, but I would rather have them do it here because it's under a solid platform. More work for me. We got none inside of the tortoise house and they normally don't stay inside of here during this time of the year because it does get pretty hot. So they like to be inside of burrows to help them stay cool. We got Ike chasing Dino for some reason. Hey, Damia. What's up, Damia? Hey, buddy. Looks like Ike sees Damia. Ike. That's Ike making that noise. Oh, he just went to the bathroom, that's why. I think he changed his mind. So it doesn't look like we have any babies as of right now, but we may get some later today. And Ike made his way over to this gate because he actually has a burrow in the front yard and it's gonna get pretty hot today. So we're gonna let him go in the front yard so he can stay nice and cool. So this is Ike's burrow and it curves down to the left. We're gonna feed him this cactus pad. Go, buddy. 
So this is Ike's burrow, and it actually curves down to the left. And he's been living here for about 15 years. And one day, he just decided to make it under my half pipe. So there was no stopping him after that. But he'll come up later today, and we'll be feeding all the tortoises. So we'll catch up with this big dude later. So now that Ike is inside of his burrow, the baby tortoises are gonna be slowly waking up to the morning sun. So we're gonna put the GoPro right here and see what kind of footage we can get. But we gotta turn on the misters for them so they can stay nice and cool. I also like to give these guys a soak every single day for about 15 to 20 minutes. So we're gonna give them a nice soak just to make sure that they're nice and hydrated. But while these guys are soaking, we're gonna go make sure all the tortoises are good on some hay. And I like to mix up their hay from time to time, but today we're gonna be giving them some Timothy hay. And I got this exact bag on Amazon for about five bucks. Hey guys. I like to put these guys hay on the side of their house because the sun doesn't come on this side, so it stays nice and green for them. But we got these guys munching away on their hay. And every single week, I'll scrub, brush, and clean out their pond. So we got to do that real quick. But it's hard to do it with one hand, so I'll be right back. So now we got their pond all cleaned out. And we got these two little guys eating some hay. And if you guys didn't know, these are a pair of rescues that I got a little while ago. And their pyramiding on their shell has actually gone down tremendously since I first got them. But it's super important that they eat grasses and hays as their main source of food, so they can grow a nice and round shell. But the yearlings don't really get their pond as dirty as the big ones, so we don't have to clean it as often, but I still like to do it every single time. But we just cleaned it out yesterday, so. And as you can see, their water's already getting pretty dirty, so it's very important that they always have clean water. Hey, buddy. But we also put some Timothy hay all inside of their hide, and it's actually super nice in here. But we'll catch up with these guys later today whenever they eat. But we'll catch up with these guys later today whenever they eat. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. All right, well, it looks like somebody's out. Is that good? Come on. We gotta lure him all the way to that gate. Of course, we gotta give him a few bites along the way. Come on, buddy. The first tortoises we're gonna be feeding are the rescue tortoises, and they're gonna be eating on some red leaf lettuce, and they're also gonna be eating on some cactus. And we got some spineless cactus in this bag, just in case if there were any needles on the ones that we grow here at home. So let's lure them out and feed them their food. We got Ike and Damia doing their thing. Huh? Hey, buddy. Wow. 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 You want a bite, buddy? No. Huh? Wow. 
Wow. So the hatchlings and yearlings are also going to be eating on some red leaf lettuce, but we're going to add some Zoomed tortoise calcium onto their food so they can get everything they need as babies. And because they're not able to eat things like cactus quite yet, this actually includes a puntia cactus and alfalfa hay inside of this block. So we're going to shave some off of it, but it's hard to do it with one hand, so I'll be right back. And we also got Tina right here. Hey, Tina. So we got all the hatchlings ready and we got the yearlings out. So now it's time for them to eat. So we got Francie right here. And we got Ike inside of his mud hole and all the big tortoises are now making their way out. And to end off the video, we're gonna go ahead and put the GoPro camera on Ike and see what he does for the rest of the day. 